To me, a hero is somebody who gives a part of themselves without expecting anything in return. And I feel like with being a living donor coordinator, I work with heroes every day. A friend of mine's son needed to have a kidney transplant. I did the work up to initially donate to Michael, um, but unfortunately we weren't a match. So we were listed for a year to be um, exchange donors. So um, I would donate to somebody whose um, loved one would donate to Michael and you just just kind of swap donors and recipients. In December of 2016, I got a phone call from uh, the transplant office and then unfortunately they told me that Michael was too ill that I wouldn't be able to help him. So they asked me if I would be an anonymous donor and I said it would. They told me at the beginning of January of 2017 um, that they had somebody to match with and that I would have my surgery date would be February 26th. It really began when Connie and Gina came to me and said, we have an anonymous donor and we think that she will be an excellent person to donate her kidney. Um, and I said, well, in that case, I would like to do um, Nebraska's first kidney chain. It's really kind of simple, the exchange process that we do here at Nebraska Medicine. Uh, basically, we have what we call the Board of Hope. So the Board of Hope really is just, um, we make a cardex of every donor and recipient, and we just arrange them on a board, um, Dr. Hoffman does, with the help of um, Connie and Gina and tissue typing. And we just put their names on a board and we look at multiple things um, to make sure that they're a good match. We had people come forward who originally decided I want to donate to somebody and we asked them well since you cannot donate to your recipient would you would you like to donate in honor of them and I think as soon as they said actually sure I'll do that and allowing us to put the chain together they had complete trust in our team but to donate a kidney to somebody they've never met that is on a completely different level. That's just, that is so special. The cards just kind of aligned and um, we met daily, Connie, myself, and Dr. Hoffman to assure that this chain would happen, and it did. The donor operation is performed completely laparoscopic. So that's with um, two or three small incisions, about a centimeter each, and then about a six centimeter incision to bring the kidney out. And then the recipient comes into a separate OR. They're put to sleep under anesthesia, um, and the kidney comes over from the donor OR and is sewn into the recipient immediately. Donors are special people. They are coming in um, and they are going, undergoing a surgery that they don't medically need for somebody, to help somebody. I have a, a large family, I have seven kids, I have five grandkids. I thought of if one of them was sick, it would affect every one of us in our family and it would be very, very difficult. And so I thought it was important to help, no matter who it was, um, to help that person. It impacts an entire community. When somebody comes forward and says, I want to donate a kidney to somebody I don't know, um, they need family members and friends around them because it's a little bit scary to have a surgeon you've maybe met twice say to you, I'm gonna remove your kidney and give it to somebody you've never met, um, but I promise you at the end of this, the person that you would like to give a kidney to is going to receive one. Um, but that takes a lot of trust, not just on the side of the donor and the recipient, but everybody else that comes to the hospital to support them. I mean, they pulled off a miracle, I, I believe, and there's just going to be bigger miracles coming to Nebraska Medicine involving the kidney team.